Talk to Me, out in theaters, new Australian horror feature directorial debut uh, of the Filippo brothers uh, and feature acting debut of Sophie Wilde. It's the best horror film I've seen in a couple of years, uh, one of my favorite movies of the year so far for sure. The story starts out somewhat generic. Uh, a group of teenagers have a new fad, a new game they like to play at parties. One of them came in possession of a creepy sort of ceramic hand with markings on it and apparently when you perform a ritual using it uh, you can summon lost souls to inhabit your body for a short time. The kids do this for a thrill but of course things quickly go very 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 wrong. Uh, and that's as much as I'm saying because I think it's an amazing movie to discover on your own uh, as it moves along. Now there are multiple multiple different things I really loved about this film. Uh, first of all, it is spectacularly terrifying and achieves that without the use of, I think, even a single traditional jump scare, which makes it all the more impressive because it earns the moments that are scary. Uh, furthermore, it features several different types of fear. Uh, some moments are just absolutely fucking terrifying. Some are creepy and unsettling. Some are off-putting because of the body horror. Uh, there's something for everyone I think and yet it all feels very seamless. Uh, there's one moment especially which was just skin crawlingly horrifying and made me think of that one scene from Event Horizon because of what was going on but also the ending sequence of Saint Maud uh, because of how it made me feel. Uh, just pure dread on a very instinctual primal level uh, sort of animal uh, I think very few movies manage to tap into that. Uh, then there's the subtext. The film is about demonic possession uh, or just ghostly possession, but it is also quite clearly about drug abuse. It's a very clever cautionary tale and most importantly it doesn't feel preachy uh, nor does it feel clunky with how it mixes surface level elements with the underlying layers of subtext. Uh, then there's the story, which is clever, unpredictable, and doesn't over-explain itself. Some things are stated outright, others you have to infer from the scenes, but there are also things which are, I think, deliberately left vague, and I think the point is that you can read them in different ways. I like that ambiguity and the fact that the film manages to, to avoid being direct and obvious. Then there's the sound design and cinematography, which are both great and create a really unsettling atmosphere. And then there are the performances, uh, which feel incredibly real. Sophie Wilde is terrific in the lead role, uh, but I think I need to also mention the supporting cast, who all feel like real people, not just side characters in a simple horror film. I mean, I loved it. It, it scared me to no end, but I like being scared like that so sometimes, apologies. I think it's a cool take on a pretty well-known concept that manages to do something fresh with it and shine in execution, and I think it achieves everything it sets out to do. Phenomenal debut from these two directors.